Aesthetic Weekly EP7. I have had that one. Uh, so today is uh, the day before the hometown show. Uh, we've got bits and bobs planned today. I'm going to go sharpen up a little, uh, go to the barber's uh, mall. What we'll do is we shall meet you at King's. Well, there's not much to do, just to sort out the beer, clean up the sign, get a nice little facial, uh, get my hair done. And then from there, I straight to Villa Park, uh, go watch the Villa play, kick back. Still need to do about 5,000 steps, so hopefully watching the football will possibly help going around to get the water but today is a day of loading up water uh, 8 litres uh, of water is a lot of water to drink through uh, I've drank half of it so I've only got 4 litres left uh, This is going to be my third show this year uh, Birmingham PCA, it wasn't planned uh, but obviously I decided to do it 3 weeks ago and because it's Birmingham and because it's a, a home show I can imagine the support being really well the messages I've got and the people that have booked the tickets uh, Slightly overwhelming, I can imagine uh, it being electrifying, even to the extent where we had to close the gym. Uh, so the gym will be closed because both myself and Scott will both be competing. So uh, yeah, it should be exciting. But uh, the reason why I mention that is because Mo, uh, oh my God, his family oh, really don't even know I'm competing. Well, he goes like, "Where are you competing? What scene?" Okay. I feel, feel to cut my own here. We're making up now. Making up. Making up. The whole family will be there in the show. Okay. All right. All the best tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, my bro. Fuck the villa. Shit on the city. Uh, obviously, those of you who've been following me for a while would know uh, I'm a devout villa fan. For me and Dilly being going to the villa all your life, isn't it really? Eh? Pre-match predictions. I don't know why El Ghazi's not starting, but uh, I reckon Everton, a strong team, we sneak away 2-1. I'll be over the moon. This is what we tend to do. We go watch the Villa occasionally. We're going to Old Trafford next week to watch uh, United Villa and possibly the Joshua fight, which obviously boys will be with us also. Uh, A6. No joy for Everton, just despair at Villa Park this afternoon. Final scoreline, Aston Villa 3, Everton 0. Big game, big win, big performance. Think it was, yeah, really good derby. Uh, obviously, game being game, 3 0, Villa played absolutely awesome, but you know, just being in the environment like that after like so long, just the Covid and everything, it's just, uh, just nice, you know, a bit of normality. Crowd is electric, uh, and it was just nice, it was nice, nice sort of time out, you know, just a uh, recuperate and uh, not think so much about the day or anything about the lines. Yeah, in terms of everything with the plan, we've stuck to the plan. We've got the board trim, I've only got a litre and a half to go, which is easy work. Well, come on, let's enjoy the moment. The intention wasn't to do the show, but simply because it's a home show, it's Birmingham, it'd be rude not to. Um, how can I say, overwhelmed, uh, excited. I've never been a nervous guy, but uh, I'm actually a bit jittery today. Uh, I just want to get on the showcase the work which I've done over the last 11, 12 weeks. Enjoy it with all my friends, family, and go to rock and roll, man. You know what I mean? I just want to see Dan town all just uh, erupt a little like Villa Park yesterday, yeah dudes? <laughs> like Villa Park yesterday. Stop pumping man. Don't worry man. Okay, it sits in here and it and then I'll go on it again. Yeah, no no. 
Bruce. Yeah. That was not yesterday, day before. Wait, let, let's do this first. Let's get started with the after. Do what we gotta do. Right, you know, I'm gonna jump up, 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 high, high. Nah, so give it. Just give yourself a second. Ah, Let's go, 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 let's go. Yeah, bro. Watch it, let's have a wee. When are you on? Eh? When are you on? Just come off. Had you on? Did it pace? What was it? What was it? Yeah, first time. First time, what? How many of the class? Um, about seven, eight, I think. Yeah, first time's always tough class, yeah. Well, um, just saying, we're not like, I'm done here. Yeah. 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 It's good, though, man. It's most important thing is you want, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're we're done, man. done, man. Go smash it, bro. Get in shot. All right, then. Yeah, still feel like you're good. Good, good. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. How long until he's on? He should be on next, you know? All right. We've just got the tan on him. Uh, he should be on next. He's done now. Everything's sorted. Should be ready to rock and roll. We're gonna go now, get, grab our seats, sit back and enjoy, man. Fucking weather's banging as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be a good day. Let's go, man. The next class is a classic pole class. Let's bring on stage Ahmed, Wahid, Paul, Alexander, Will, and Ennis. Gentlemen, please turn and face the judges. Thank you. Please ensure that you have sufficient space. You are now being judged. Quarter turn to your right. A quarter turn facing the rear. Front double biceps. Let's go with it. That's right. Yes, we're here. Side tricep. Gentlemen, turning to face the rear, back double biceps. <laughs> and any classical pose of your choice. Relax, thank you gentlemen. Please make your way to the rear. Could we have competitor number 22, 23 and 26. Competitor 22 and 23, please switch positions. Make your way to the side. Next on stage we have Wahid.
relax, gentlemen. Make your way to the rear. Please present the competitors with their medals. Yes, we're here. Four competitors in this class receiving invites to the British finals. In fourth place, with an invite, we have number 24, Alex. And now for your top three. In third place, we have number 23, Paul. In second place, we have number 26, William. Well, sorry. And your winner, number 22, Wahid. Fantastic result in the bag. Paid up. So very good result today for Wahid. He came first in his category and inshallah overall in a couple of hours he's gonna come first in that as well. So it just shows hard work and a bit of dedication and commitment can get you anywhere you want. There's no barriers, there's no limits, go get it. Yeah, I'm uh, very proud of him, absolutely smashed it, brought the house down. I think, uh, I think half of Birmingham was there supporting him, which was cool. Um, but no, really proud of him, done, it, done what he need, we needed to do, and um, going to take a little bit of downtime, a week of just chilling a little bit more, and then we'll go to the British and give them a good run for the money. So, like I said, boys, uh, overwhelmed. Uh, I said it before I went on, I said, you know what it is, I don't really know. I've, I've won many things in life, you know what I mean? Uh, the cabinet's full, I don't even keep my trophies no more, I sleep enough. Uh, but, it's not about the trophy, it's the moment, uh, and this moment is something which is priceless. You can't replicate this. Same friends, family, people that have helped me, supported me. And I've got a very personal story with the town hall. Uh, I competed here in 2016, I did a place, and I had a lot of people turn up. And for me, that was a big turning stage in my life, very uh, emotional, but like I said, it means a lot more to me spending it with everyone here. It's turned up, like I said. Trophies and stuff, there's lots of them in it, but the moment in itself, priceless. Uh, to me, like I said, overall, don't really actually mean nothing now, but I'm going to do it for Bantz. Uh, I'm going to get on with uh, Scott, hopefully, after he wins. Uh, and that's it, then after that, Tom's forcing me for the British. There's a universe for the IBFA, there's also the British for the FX. But it's ever, it's never like, it's never ending then, you know what I mean? I need to realise, when is this going to finish? Um, and my mum's always says to me, is quit while you're ahead. So, where do I go from here? I've got to think longevity. I've got to think health. Uh, and what more do I want from this? You know what I mean? I do it for, for enjoyment. And this is, I can't, I don't think I'll be able to ever replicate this. It's like a drug in it, you know, when you're chasing that thing. What do they call it in prison? They call it chase the dragon. Chase the dragon, he knows it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Sanjay Dutt, uh, hold tight, Sanjay Dutt. So get his video in, but then put a clip of Sanjay Dutt. And then, uh, so, do you know like when you're chasing that high? And I don't think I'll be ever be able to replicate this high now. So, because of that reason, I'm thinking, yeah, hometown, bow out now, and focus more so on the clients who are gonna get ready for show, mics getting ready for the show. There's a fair few more mics come to sin today. And then there's um, the business side of it, then there's family side of it, and then obviously there's a spiritual side of it, obviously, which is like I'm starting to see as well. And there's no better way than to finish it like this, but uh, hold tight the boys in the camera, hold tight the friends, the family, everyone that's here and everyone that's been messaging. My phone's been going ballistic, so I haven't even had my phone today. And I'm going to take these pants off and put some bottoms on and go off. You know what I mean? And then come back for the thingy. No stress, no nothing. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm standing in uh, my city. Well, it's not my city, it's Baijan City. Car, you know why? Car, he is classic bodybuilding champion for Birmingham. So you see the whole of our city, he's number one, you know. And see this gold here that I'll be wearing home. Car, he sends me home with all his medals, yeah? I'm gonna wear this for quite a while, car. 
number one in Birmingham. You know how big our city is, and he is number one. So our city's got what, like a couple of million people, and out of all a million, he's number one. So yeah, I'm gassed. We're in Brom. We conquered, we conquered the show. The one he wanted to do, his hometown show, and he smoked it and that. Uh, what does he always say? That he's taught me always manners and respect. That thing as well. So yeah, that's a wrap. Uh, great performance by Scott again. I've not seen him in such shape before. Uh, the best shape I've ever seen him. But like I said, it's subject to sport. It go your way someday. It can't go your way the other day. And this is where character comes out. Uh, I would never have had him fourth, to be fair. Uh, top two, I had him at. Uh, and I think the majority of people would uh, agree to me. But like I said, he's got four weeks to, uh, like I said, uh, nail what needs to get nailed done. I'm sure him and Joel will do that and uh, be back at the British. Uh, I won't be doing the overall simply, like I said, health comes first for me. Uh, I've not had water for fucking full day. So I'm gonna go rehydrate, spend some quality time with the family. Uh, off plan tomorrow, nice little meal. I've got a nice little event on Tuesday, which you will also be able to watch on the Aesthetic Weekly. And then uh, we'll be back in action and back in the laboratory uh, next week. We'll hit Aesthetic, all of that. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you.